Hi everyone, today in this video we will see how you can split uh, normal data into multiple columns in Excel. So let's get started. So I have uh, pulled up some data like made up some data to explain this process to you. So uh, to convert some data which is available uh, into multiple columns we have to have a delimiter uh, uh, specified for that to happen. So I'll just show you how that works. So for example if I just take this particular text copy it and paste it to Excel what happens is it just gets pasted into one single cell. So if you see the whole cell value is the one single cell value is having all the data. So if I want to split this into multiple row columns, so what I'll do is uh, you can see an option called data in the top menu. Click on that. After you click on that, there is an option called text to columns. Click on that. Once you click on that, there is an option called delimited. There are two ways delimited and fixed width. Fixed width is uh, based on the spaces uh, like you can see fields aligned in columns with spaces. Delimited is the delimited. For example, we have uh, comma in between each and every data. So based on that it works. So I'll just click on next and uh, I'll select which delimiter. So there are some predefined delimiters like semicolon, comma, space, etc. So I'll just check box on that and the moment you see I'll just remove tab and the moment I click on comma you see lines are appearing here you just see the highlighted section and now if I click on next and finish automatically uh, they appear in different rows so but there is a problem you see in pineapple there is something called extra also so I'll just do control Z and I'll go to text to columns again and what I'll do is I'll do delimited I'll do next and what I'll do is along with comma I'll give tab as well. So tab is not working. So let me give space. Okay. Tab is fixed amount of uh, space that has to work. So if I give space now even etc is getting separated. So if I click on next and finish and you can see etc is coming in etc is something uh, uh, un, uh, unnecessary for us. So I will just remove this and uh, delete this. See uh, this appears trivial when we have just single amount of data but imagine if we have tens uh, like a lot of data and if etc is causing some uh, like uh, is not, uh, not allowing us to separate the actual thing then uh, it will be difficult. So that's the reason I suggested this. So this is like we can name it like fruit one now I'll just drag it so that automatically it populates like fruit two three four and five so this way I can split text to columns so what happens now is so if I copy paste now automatically they are coming because Excel has remembered that we have delimited with space and thing uh, space and comma but what what if we want we have different set of data where uh, the delimiters are dot and uh, hyphen. So we'll see what will happen with that. I'll just copy paste this and you can see they got separated because we had space between them. So I'll just remove space and show it to you. Okay. to columns next I'll remove space and I'll click on finish and you can see I'll copy all appear like apple appears in one screen orange so now if I select this and I'll click on text to columns and go here and go back delimited and give space automatically they appear in different lines okay so this is one way 
okay like as we had some extra data above it's asking me to change so now uh, so for example initially we have fruit and uh, price in the same screen but now they are in a different screen so this is price per kg so i'll just remove this unnecessary data because we don't need that it is in rupees because it's always in rupee and so now we have data separated properly so that we can properly generalize and use the data so this is uh, to separate using space for example previously we have data right so i'll just remove this data now i'll paste this again so now as space is there it's working by default so let me just uh, undo the space thing again go back to data undo because this is a problem uh, you don't want it to happen that way and it starts happening so that will annoy you a little bit okay so now i'll paste it again and they're coming so now i want to uh, delimit using other because you see uh, there are only four options here by default tab semicolon comma and space so if i want to uh, change it by hyphen then it will come this way so only one i can give so uh, first i'll uh, do it with hyphen and the fruit names get separated now i'll select this data alone and what i'll do is i'll go here now i'll select dot okay now this got separated okay now this data is separated now what i'll do is i'll go back next and now i'll give slash so if you have some data which is half cooked then you can follow this other other option to select the delimiter of your choice you can select any delimiter but it should only be more than one for example i can't enter double slash and those things here so that way i can select uh, a delimiter and give it here so for example i have some uh, time for example time uh, time fields here so if you see if i want to separate this then i'll just go here next like i showed you previously next so as this data in the previous cell it is asking so i'll just give this so it is 440 to 510 so if i want to negate this minus so you see uh, i think there's some issue with data okay i think it's uh, 440 am and 510 right so uh one part of it is as uh, like let me select this also like this time and okay okay now let's see okay there's some issue in formatting so this way you can delimit uh, we'll discuss about the time formatting in other video so this way you can delimit so if you wish to delimit using uh, now colon instead of uh, the other thing now i'll give you this way and click on next okay now you can see it's as it's phi just so that's why it's taking some part of day so this way you can delimit any type of data using custom delimiter or predefined delimiters in excel hope this video was helpful if you have any query related to this video let me know through the comment section i'll try to help you thanks a lot for watching this video have a nice day bye you say you wanna try but you